cool move you did there. I like the finger guns. And they're nice. up though. They're, you can keep them safe. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Don't aim at our feet. <laughs> yeah. For right. sure. Yeah, guys, welcome back to Tracklandia. This is episode six, and uh, we're still going. Uh, it's a surprise to all, but we're still here. Uh, yeah, so big, big show tonight. We've got uh, a lot of good things going on. Uh, so we know that uh, if some of you haven't gotten your cans signed, uh, come up to us afterwards, and we've all got pens, so we'll sign your cans. Uh, also know that cans are going from $0.05 cents to $0.10 cents on the deposit at the end of this month. So you will no longer be able to deposit those cans. They're going to lose their value. So, I mean, not with our signatures on it. They'll be fine. Oh, uh, in 11 cents. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. yeah. We uh, also, let's see, we got, uh, we're talking world records. We're talking the Emmys. And we've got two super studly, awesome featured guests that we're going to interview and talk to and get to know a little better. Um, hey, give it up one more time, because this is Tracklandia. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Let's get into some news. The Fifth Avenue mile was earlier this month. Uh, the winning time in the men's mile at 3.53 was Jake Whiteman. Yeah. Jake Pretty legit. Whiteman. Pretty he's legit. British dude. Young yeah. guy too. I think he was a young, uh, 144, 800 guy uh, earlier this year. So oh. that's really impressive, especially but, to take down a guy like Nick Willis. Yeah, very, ooh, very talented. Over statesman. The women's side, Jenny Simpson won her seventh Fifth Ave mile in the 4.18. Holding off a charging Colleen Quigley by about a braid's length. Uh, there, yeah, there's our braid. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, you gotta squint to see it, but we got it in there. It's about a braid's length. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> yeah, moving on. <laughs> Uh, we got, uh, what, what do we have here? Oh yeah, Eliud Kipchoge set a world record in the marathon running 201.39 uh, in Berlin, and that was September 16th, I believe. Uh, yeah, he won uh, by a braid as well, but it was considerably longer. Well, uh, and I mean, it, actually, it wasn't just like a. It, just it was like <laughs> the braid. Like and, and, and like it's it he goes. won by a long. It goes a long, 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 long way. And, and eventually it ended just, up in some onlookers' uh, coffee cup. There. Yeah. So. <laughs> the well, and then when at, and then when asked what's next for him, he's like, well, I've. I think I should run 202. I say, well, why? So I've run two flat, 201, 203, 204, 205. Oh, so I'm that's run 202. Good. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? World record done. 202. Talk about that one ahead of time. No, like, that, this, is, this is this is off the cuff, baby. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Oh, this is, yeah, this is all improvised. Actually, we didn't we didn't write any of this. Uh, uh, also, uh, in world record news, we had uh, a, a ten event athlete set a world record by the name of Kevin Mayer, Frenchman, set a world record in the decathlon, scoring 9,126 points. That's a lot of points. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's the most points ever, right? Yeah, I think in the history of the human race. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, wow, what a shot there. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. And, uh, sinks you further into your seat when you see a man looking quite as fit as that. So. Yeah. What's a hey, what's Ashton doing? Ashton, you know, I texted Ashton. I was like, Ash, you know, I think it's time to come out of retirement and do some defending now. And he was like, I am about knuckle deep in a donut right now, so <laughs> I'm happily retired. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, I don't play He's eating. Eating, eating. He's eating. Eating, eating. Oh, no. I like what you did there. No, I think there's something wrong with that. That was, actually, we'll that was let it that one out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not good. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, a lot of the pros are going into their off season right now, which means that many of them are at the beach. A lot of them are eating ice cream. Uh, and you've got guys like Ben Blankenship who are uh, whittling canoes out of uh, trees in the park, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Live action photograph. And when I asked Benjamin, I said, do you have the permits for this? And he so casually whipped this out. I, said, I, do, I do what I want, Ben. And for those of you interested in making a purchase of uh, one of these canoes, 
you can go to www.benblankenstinyships.org and we'll hook you up. <laughs> I wouldn't do that actually, that website doesn't work, I don't know where it goes. Don't do it. You may end up someplace you don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, but anyway, also, yeah, another big, big uh, activity that runners are doing now is they're getting married. Uh, <laughs> right now in the off season, September is the best time uh, to get married for professional runners. We had Riley Masters and Sarah Sutherland tie the knot. Ashley Higginson and Liam Boylan tie the knot as well. That's cool. And then you also had uh, Ryan Gregson and Genevieve Lacaz tie the knot. Yeah, no problem, problem. Uh, yeah, and so you got the, the two week period uh, in late September where most of these weddings happen and I think uh, what they say like 92 percent of all runners anniversaries past and future uh, happen uh, in the last two weeks of September between the 14th and 31st roughly uh, so remember to send your favorite runner uh, an anniversary card when you get the chance because most likely you'll be right on the nose with it <laughs> uh, what, do we got, what do we have next Jeff? Oh we got the Emmys oh right the Emmys happen and uh, I don't know about you but we were uh, we were very excited about them, and uh, the Emmys happened, and despite what all of you told us, we made it in the building. And there we are there. <laughs> uh, it's, it takes a minute, I know, we're, they snubbed us to the back, but... Yeah, and I can tell that you guys didn't watch the Emmys because it's from 2017. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't know what the show is. Uh, we just snuck up there. Right. And, uh, yeah, because it's the end of the season, and, uh, and there weren't world championships or Olympics this year, uh, but runners still did some really great work this year, and right. we wanted to recognize them. So we've got some Emmys that we want to hand out. Uh, but we're, we're not calling them the Emmys, right? Uh, this is a track-focused niche YouTube series. <laughs> and uh, most, <laughs> most people who watch are runners, so yeah. naturally we run in short shorts we call split shorts. Right. So we've accurately titled our award, yeah. The Splitties. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's right. Right, uh, right. Once <clears throat> again, uh, yeah, we're giving away Splitties. Right, and uh, yeah. yeah, and there are no nominees because, or they're just winners because uh, we don't have the budget to notify people properly about like what they're up for, so uh, we're just giving, giving straight, straight awards, no, no nominees. We don't want to get anybody's hopes up, too. That's no. what we're going with, I think. So, uh, without further ado, uh, let's, uh, let's get let's, to let's, these awards Let's here. kick off our first award. Our first award goes to best tweet in an in, indiscernibly on or off track focused tweet. Can we do the drum roll? Drum roll, please. Drum roll. drum roll, please. Goes to Daniel Wynn with the tweet that reads, I can't even finish the simplest. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> he did it there. He's, he won. He's got me so on the hook with this tweet. I want to know what he's going to say. Yeah. Oh, and uh, because Dan Wynn couldn't be here tonight, uh, here to accept the award on his behalf is Alan Webb. This next award uh, says, for uh, the best reason to wear a light rain jacket into any job interview, first date, or situation where feeling like a stone-faced warrior is necessary. And with the drum roll here. This award goes to Desi Linden for winning the Boston Marathon. And guys, Desi couldn't be here with us tonight, I apologize, but here to accept her award uh, is Alan Webb. <laughs> All right. All right, Alan. Congrats. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, all right. Yeah, let's keep it going. <laughs> okay. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> we, got, we got a real studded cast here. Okay, our next award goes to, I, I consider this probably one of the more prestigious awards of the of the lot. Um, it goes to the best hair and makeup for a tiny niche track focused YouTube series. So, drum roll please. This is an exciting one. Goes to Tracklandia. Oh, All yeah, right. Good. Oh, man. 
Uh, and, and to accept this award on, on our behalf is, uh, is Alan Webb. Well, because Susie couldn't be here right. tonight, obviously. Uh, right. It's Alan Webb. It's Alan Webb, yeah. Won, yeah. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, Peter. Yeah. Uh, and finally, uh, yeah, in the in the final category of the evening, and this is probably the most uh, important one uh, besides the one that we just got. This next one is the the best social media feud between two female runners and teammates. Uh, and let's see, this one goes to French Bread versus French Braid by Shelby Houlihan and Colleen Quigley. And here to accept the award on their behalf is Alan Webb. Alright. 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 All right. Thank you so much. Guys. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, make sure that gets in the right place. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Thank you, Alan. Oh, what a good sport. God. Just. God. Well, I think that's it. Actually. That pretty much sounds, yeah. That's that, the news. That's all news. That's all our, our, our splitties. Yeah. And so, for those of you uh, just coming here to see the news, you can just leave. You can leave now. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but don't. No, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I just stop. I wouldn't. I wouldn't move. No. Let's take a. Stay tuned. Featured yeah, guests right. coming up. Yeah. All right. Get another chair. Thanks, guys. Right. Uh, our first guest is the third fastest steeplechaser in American history. Uh, 2006 Olympian representing Team USA in the steeplechase, where she placed eighth, and also a member of the Bowerman Track Club. Hold your applause. Uh, and our second guest is the newly minted American record holder in the 5,000, winner of two Diamond League 1500s, a 2016 Olympian in the 5,000, uh, and seven-time U.S. champion. She's also a member of the world-famous Bowerman Track Club. Let's give a warm welcome for both Colleen Quigley and Shelby Houlihan here. Take a seat. Thanks for Any seat. Yeah. Not this one. We got our own mugs? Yeah, you do. Uh, Shall we get the green one? Yeah, there you, yeah, you oh can God, pick which one. Smart. I think we got your orders right, by the way. This is perfect because this is like totally me and this is totally Shelby. Yeah. <laughs> this is supposed to be. This is like preppy and like girly yeah, yeah. and this is like a camp mug. Hey, does that mean that we are... Uh, yeah, and yeah, you're also us, preppy huh? and girly. Yeah. Cheers to you too, right? Cheers. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's in here. <laughs> Thanks for hobnobbing it with us, Shelby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do we have to? Yeah, we have to switch this here so I can see my questions. Uh, but how are you, ladies? By the way. Great. Pretty good. Good. Yes. Yeah. It's well, off season. It's, it's the it's off, off season. season. I also huh? call it uh, ice cream season. Oh yeah, you were that ice cream. Oh, yeah, that there, was huh? definitely. Huh? Oh, that was beer all season. that. <laughs> beer season. <laughs> beer season. <laughs> beer season. Yeah. And you were just in Ireland, or is that right? Yeah, I, I took my parents to Ireland the la this last week. I got back at 1 a.m. last night. <laughs> oh, this yeah. Morning. Just to come here. <laughs> is that like I Ireland time or Portland time? No, Portland time. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so that, yeah, you haven't had a lot of sleep then, huh? <laughs> not, not a ton, but... So when... I, oh, go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> I'm interrupting saying, you already. I did get two seats to myself, so I curled up and slept for one of my flights. Oh, where did one of your parents have to sit? <laughs> no, no. They went back to Phoenix and I came to Portland. Oh, so. got it. Yeah, okay. Half of it was on my own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know it was like that. Yeah. <laughs> so what Bye, about... guys. <laughs> yeah. <That's sweet>. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you. Thanks for the chair. Uh, what about Ireland made you want to take them there? Um, when I was little, I asked my dad what his like bucket place, bucket place uh, place to go would be. Did that make sense? Yeah, I did. I got it. Yeah. Bucket list place to go. I think yeah. Was, yeah. A bucket list um, place. Yeah. And he wanted to go to Ireland because his, his grandfather came over from Ireland. Um, and that's just the place that he kind of wanted to check out. And so I kind of made a promise to myself to take my parents there one day. And so this last week was that time. So it was... It was a lot of fun. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So now you don't owe him anything anymore, right? Yeah. I, that's yeah. exactly what my dad said. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Good work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Daughter of the Year award. <laughs> yeah. When was yeah. Where's my my splitty? Oh well, you got one. For you Daughter of the Year. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just yeah. Kidding. Alan, I talked to Alan about that. 
<laughs> well, when was the last time that you two have seen each other then? Because you've been on the road both it's In Leuven. Yeah, it's been a while. Before Fifth Ave. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. She went to Convent and, and I was going yeah. to Fifth Ave. I was like, where did I go? Like, <laughs> a hot second in Leuven, this little tiny town in Belgium. Yeah. Um, we do some training at. That's the base yeah, camp yeah. for a lot of the pros, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, it's so random. It's like a little tiny little college town just outside of um, Brussels. Oh, okay. Sounds yeah. amazing. So we saw each other tonight. I had to catch up and yeah, get the lowdown. Yeah, um, Beer see. drinking that's been happening. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lots, Ice cream eating that's lots been of beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's got their vices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, Shelby. Uh, yeah, so you've had one of the best summers that an uh, American yeah, runner has ever had, <laughs> right? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, that's it not didn't a nice suck, thing to say. So. Well, I'm asking you. I know you did. That's true. Uh, yeah, you're the two-time U.S. champion. Uh, you won two Diamond Leagues in the 1500. Yeah. You set the American record in the 5K. And uh, and now it's beer time. It's beer time. Uh, <laughs> well deserved. <laughs> yeah. Which of those races uh, are you most proud of? I'd have to say probably my first 15 uh, at pre was kind of like a little unexpected. Like I knew, I, I felt like I could win that race, but it was just kind of getting over that hump in confidence uh, and being able to put myself in it. And yeah, that was kind of like a, yeah. It, it really switched things around for me and it gave me more confidence going into the rest of the season and it allowed me to do a lot more. Uh, because of that. So. Yeah, I mean, you broke four for the first time. Yeah. You came storming down that home stretch. <laughs> yeah. it seems like that kick never fades, regardless of how fast you're moving. Throughout yeah, that's, the race. that's what it felt like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. That's a good yeah. feeling. <laughs> yeah, how about that 5K? Did you feel like you were uh, going a lot faster than you ever have at that point? Or? No, actually, it kind of, like, I felt really comfortable. Um, and she does it that helped all the time in practice, so it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it helped having Shalane. I'm flying again. This is cool. Like, <laughs> uh, like every day. Yeah. It helped having Shalane there, um, but no, it was funny because she was she knew she was gonna have to pace. Uh, Jerry wanted her to pace me, and at the beginning of the season, it was like, all right, we're gonna pace you to 15 flat. Uh -huh. um, and so Shalane was like kind of out of shape, like, all right, I can do that. Uh, and, and then sure as the that. season yeah, <laughs> yeah. as the season got going, it was like, well, can you pace her to like 1445 pace? And she's like, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to like jump some fitness here, yeah. she but was I'll nervous. try it. And then he's like, well. With her and she was nervous. <laughs> yeah. Like, we were doing workouts together. And she was like, i got to get in shape for Shelby. I she had like three weeks to get in shape. She was and then, and then he was like, well, I think we're going to go off the American record. And she was like, Jerry, I'm going to kill you. Oh, <laughs> boy, yeah. like, I, can't, I can't put three weeks of fitness to American record pace. Um, but she did an awesome job. And yeah, it felt really comfortable just running behind her like. I would have practiced, so it was, nice. it was cool. Well, what's Shalane's vice? It sounds like you owe her a lot of something, huh? Is she an <laughs> yeah. ice cream or a beer person? She's lying, actually. Uh, is she? Oh, well, there you go, yeah. She's a beer person. She does beer, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we'll let her know Just the Just uh, give the her label. alcohol. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll get her something in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and then, uh, and then Lusain. For yeah. you, is that how you say it? Lusain? I have no idea. Is that, all right. <laughs> Your guess is good, Lasagne, as good as mine. Lasagne, yeah. I've been uh, saying Luzon, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you've been saying Luzon? Yeah. All right, we'll go I with that. I think that's right. Luzon, all right, okay. Yeah, I was watching that meet. It looked like, like the aerial footage that they had of the track there was like almost Travel Channel-esque. It looked like a beautiful setting, and then yeah. they got you like running around the track and stuff. And you, uh, you came really close to the American record there in the 15, and still with your signature kick. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, what, uh, what kinds of awards do they give out? At, uh, at Lausanne. They give you like a pound of cheese. Yes. <laughs> I got a pound of cheese. I didn't, I like gave it to our massage guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, that sounded way more weird than it was. <laughs> That's his vice, yeah. I guess. Huh? <laughs> I mean, Here we go, buddy. It's off season. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he, he, I don't even know what he did with it. I think he brought it back here, but. I was like, I'm not going to eat a pound of cheese, so if you, you want to eat like some cheese, four more here you go. Throughout the summer, so I yeah. just carry cheese around <laughs> yeah. with you throughout Europe the rest of the summer. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to take this and put it in a carry-on. I mean, anymore. it was really, I like, kind of wanted to eat it, but I was like, I can't give it as a gift half-eaten. So. <laughs> you can't give a half pound of cheese no, you to can't. anybody. <laughs> yeah. It's not the same. Nice.
And you, uh, you did a little, or you went up to accept that award, right? And uh, I did. Yeah, I how did. did that go for you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it's not on national television, but I came out, and they have like these official-looking people in suits, and you walk across the track, and I like gave them high fives, and I didn't see the inside rail. <laughs> And so I tripped over the <laughs> rail, oh. and I almost face planted, oh. but I did <laughs> manage to catch myself, and I just hear the crowd like go, "Oh, oh yes." <laughs> it still sounds so the same in German and English. Yes, it sounds the same. It's the same. Whatever they speak yeah. French over there. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I I walked it off, but it was it was very embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad to see that uh, you save face. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I tried to. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And, uh, yeah, uh, good on you for giving your ha your pound of cheese to your uh, massage yeah. therapist. Yeah, it's a, good it's a little deal. reward. <laughs> yeah, for all the hard work. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Here's your cheese. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I would say that both of you, or something that I've noticed watching both of you race, is that you're not passengers in races. Like, you don't take a back seat. There's a point in the race where you help shape the landscape of it and you you move to the front or you make a big move. Uh, so what do you have to say to all the jokers and clowns out there who aren't who don't have that killer instinct or who aren't doing that? <laughs> Let's just call them out right now. <laughs> I don't even well know I think it's funny that you said that because I feel like the way that Jerry tells us to run a lot yeah. is to like be a passenger and just like wait, wait, wait as soon as, soon as people are dropping off, just kinda go around and then just like don't do any of the work. That's what yeah. you know, yeah. Wait until the last oh, Just 150 else meters. Do all the work. That's what my brain always end. tells me, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was funny that you said that because I feel like we don't do a lot of the work. And we're kind of passengers until like the last 150 and then just yeah. unleash the beast. Yeah. Which is hard sometimes because like in college, I like, I want to go to the front and I want to run away from people. That, that's just like what I want to do. And then I come here and just like, we're going to, we're gonna go to the back and we're gonna Shelby loves wait. leading. Uh -huh. Yeah. I love to lead and yeah. I never get to lead anymore and it sucks. <laughs> well, that's so different for yeah, for how we've seen you race. Yeah, like, yeah I no, would never yeah. guess that about I mean you. I guess it's good to work on things that you're uncomfortable with and that's uh -huh. something I'm uncomfortable with, so that probably helps too when you finally get to flick that switch and you're like, Oh yeah, yeah. now I get to go to the yeah. front. <laughs> There's <laughs> a lot of built up energy. Yeah. yeah. And you 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 take the opposite, I'd rather not lead. And then so then when <laughs> yeah. I get to the front and I'm like, Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Uh, but you, you've actually taken the lead for quite a bit in your last. Few I had races. to do it a couple times this summer, and yeah, I get out of my comfort zone a little bit. I was chasing after, just like wanted to run fast, and the race wasn't going fast, and so I just had to do it by myself, and that was definitely scary. But yeah, how many PRs uh, did you set over the out. summer? Well, I ran a, I ran a one k. Uh huh. But I've never run a one k before. Still so counts. I PR. Yeah. Still counts. <laughs> Um, and they paired in 15 and the steeple, and technically a PR in the road mile, if that counts as a PR. Still counts. So that's four PRs. That's pretty good. And that's four out of four races that you ran, right? Yeah. Is that right? That's true. That's pretty <laughs> no, <I'm not> <laughs> there. <laughs> Wasn't a very good record or anything, but you know. <laughs> it's uh, well, my own thing. You're the third fastest steeplechaser that's in American true. history yeah. now. Yeah. And and you're right neck and neck, I would say, with the th like the three of you. Well, I got a good 10 seconds ish, <laughs> but yeah. But you're shaving chunks I'm off. I'm getting down there, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great to watch getting in these down. next few Those years. Those are five second PR, so if I can just do, keep doing that, Every time I race, I'll be there in no time. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just keep racing more. Yeah, <laughs> to race more. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. And Fifth Avenue, uh, well, the 1500 that you ran was in Poland. In Poland, and yeah. And you took the lead with about 400 to go there. Yeah. Which is a, a, a long time and to be in the And 1500, that's, yeah. Yeah. A quarter of the race. That's so. putting yourself yeah. out there. And you ran 403. Yeah. Another PR. I had the Polish girl, um, she was second at European Champs, and she was racing on her home track there. Um, and she, I don't think she was having a good day because she didn't go out with the Pacers at all. She had asked for a certain pace and then she just like didn't do it. But then on the home stretch, it was like probably 20 years ago and the crowd is like going crazy. And we're in Poland, right? So they're not cheering for me. So I'm thinking, oh crap, <laughs> she's right on me. Like she's for sure coming right down my back. And so I just like, I didn't even look back. I just kept going. And um, as soon as we got finished, I was like, yep, there she is. Like she was right on my, right on my butt. Yeah. She was gunning for me. She was pulling the Shelby kick at the end, but thank God she's not Shelby because she didn't get me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you held her off. If it had been Shelby, I would have been dead. 
<laughs> well, it's so nice of you to yeah. say that. He's <laughs> got the best kick. We can all agree on that. <laughs> but Fifth Avenue, uh, I would say, when you were coming down hot, chasing down Jenny Simpson. Uh, Channeling I was, my inner Shelby. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I was drinking my coffee uh, on the couch <laughs> over here in Portland watching you on NBC, and I, I didn't know what was going to happen. That was really yeah. exciting. Uh, it was exciting. Looking back on it, was uh, like watching the video later was pretty hard. I didn't realize in the race that we had like separated from the rest of the field. Mm -hmm. I thought that when I kicked after Jenny, everyone else was also kicking after Jenny, and they were all like right behind me. So I watched it later. I was like, wait, what? Like, where was everyone? Um, and I didn't realize it was just me and her, and I feel like we should have, could have, should have gone earlier, and you know, like I thought everyone else had a little bit more. So always later you feel like you could have done better, but yeah, next yeah. year. But that's the win in a lot of it too, is yeah. that keeps, keeps the drive. For sure. Yeah, uh, that was incredible. Next time. And you were in, uh, in, you were in New York doing that, yeah. and uh, the Best city that city never sleeps. Best city in the world, no offense Portland. Oh, all right, well. <laughs> We'll edit that out. That's it. Uh, <laughs> in the world. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and you've uh, you've done some modeling, yeah. right? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, in New York and other places. Yeah, yeah. yeah give, yeah. tell us about that a little bit. That's interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. I guess and I didn't realize until like I started running. I guess that that was going to be something that everyone was like asking about because I guess it's just different than anyone else's story. Um, so yeah, I spent four years in high school. I had an agency in St. Louis where I grew up and an agency in uh, New York. And I missed like, I don't know, maybe 20 to 30 days a semester, just like traveling to different um, jobs around the country and around the world. Yeah, everyone does that in high school. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that it was going to be something that everyone was like really interested in. And I like, never got asked to do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, it was fun. It was fun because both my parents are teachers and our summer vacations were awesome, but they were not like going to like Mexico or, you know, like Paris. My dad and I went to Paris for spring break my sophomore year. Like we never would have done trips like that without, you know, this kind of opportunity. So that was traveling a ton was so fun. It's a little bit like traveling for track. Like you go to the airport, you drive to the shoot, you take some pictures, like sleep in the hotel, go back to the airport, like go back home. So for track, it's just like you go to the airport, you go to the hotel, you go to the track, you go back to the hotel, you go back to the airport. You like never actually see the city. So yeah. it's kind of like that. Um, a few times, just like in track, a few times I got to like stay in the city for a couple of days after and like do some for fun exploring, so. So that prepped you a little uh, bit for your yeah. running lifestyle. Kind of similar. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it was super fun. So is that like um, a, like a cereal box type thing? You see something on there and you're like, oh yeah, I'll send this in and maybe I'll, I'll become a model or something? Or do oh, they mean, approach like you? Got into it. Yeah, or like, I'm just wondering because I, I, I never got tapped for anything like that. I think we're eating the wrong cereal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, I, I was a big, uh, what did I eat? Like peanut butter Captain Crunch. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. See, I don't think she. I didn't she grow up that way. We grew, I grew up with like, so, actually, we did have grape nuts. Oh yeah, I haven't had grape nuts in years. What is? I that got you grape nuts. Brings me back. It's actually not a nut at all. Or a grape. <laughs> <laughs> They're like little tiny pebbles. That yeah. Are like rock solid and might break your teeth off. Right. Yeah. That yeah. model shouldn't be eating no, grape nuts. I don't really know. dangerous. It's a good thing. Yeah. I think they maybe they uh, they sent you that, or you sent in the grape nuts thing. They're like, hey, you need to get off the grape nuts. <laughs> No, um, so basically what you need to do, because I know you're really interested, so yeah. I'm going to take some notes over there. You need to go to Macy's okay. with your mom. and Mom is necessary. <laughs> huh? right. All right. Um, be super under underprepared while all the all the other people take it really seriously. Under, okay. Under, I, I can you do got that. them underprepared. <laughs> <They're great. laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that? I don't know. That's Nailed a very it. Or, uh... <laughs> all right. Um, and then yeah, just there's like scouts. There was an audition for like a um, prom dress fashion show at Macy's when I was like you know 15 or something, and we just went like just to check it out. And then there were some uh, modeling agents there. One of them uh, is a, now she's just like a really good friend of our family. Um, she kind of turned into like my second mom, super kind of protective and like looking out for making sure that you know nothing bad was going to happen to me. Unfortunately, there are a lot of stories in the industry of you know people getting taken, girls getting taken advantage of, or 
going down a path where it's like promoting an eating disorder or promoting a negative body image type thing. So she was awesome and just always wanted to make sure that I embraced my athlete body and that I was, you know, kept doing sports and didn't get sucked into any kind of like negative um, path. And yeah, so I owe a lot of that to her because I never had any kind of experiences. Like I never, you know, had to tweet anything about me too. Uh, which I feel like that was a lot because of her and just like good guidance and and because my parents because they always um, I never traveled alone so I was like 15 and 16 17 years old I never went to shoots by myself they always went with me um, made sure that I was not like hating it and just having fun with it and you know meeting cool people and stuff um, so yeah for me it was just an overall really positive experience and I definitely thought I was going to keep doing it after high school until I started getting um, you know, coaches calling me, asking me if I wanted to go run for them and giving me money to, like, run for them and go to school yeah. for free. I was like, what? That's cool. I'll do that. That sounds like a good idea. And before you know it, you're an Olympian. Yeah, just like that. It was just it like also with a box of grape nuts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're giving grape nuts way too much press here. And oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Each follower. Yeah, we'll edit that out. We'll YouTube look for who wants to sponsor us most. And then we'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're actually going to cut to a Grape Nuts commercial right now. We'll right back. <laughs> How much are you getting paid for this? Because I didn't get paid for Grape Nuts. <laughs> I'll tell you later. We'll okay. split it. Yeah, yeah you won't be fun. <laughs> we'll give something to Andy, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, well, but, but now, bread to a serious oh, topic. Oh, yeah, it's more, much bread. more serious. Yeah. So it's the lifeblood Carbs. for some people. And to others, it's the bane of their existence. <laughs> um, Colleen, do you have a do you have a gluten intolerance? I hate bread. <laughs> really? No I'm kidding. I oh, love okay. it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Super serious. Uh, all right. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to make a joke. No, no. Super it's just, serious. Yeah, it's serious with bread. But yeah. uh, let's get to the bottom of how this whole thing started. So this this French bread uh, versus French braid thing. Mm. To my understanding, this started by uh, Shelby. Um, no, Shelby did Shelby, not well, start it. Well, let me, let me give you my... This yeah. is accurate. Yeah, no! Shelby, shut like, up. Shelby starting French Bread Friday, uh, trying to promote uh, healthy eating for all the, yeah. the bread eaters of the world, and then you just came and trolled her <laughs> hard with French Braid Friday. Right. Is that it? You just it? really right. wanted it to be a thing. I'm such an troll. I just get joy out of making other people feel inferior. We're just trying to set the record straight here, right? Yeah. yeah. Is that is that what happened? That sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, everybody like can go home now. Good night. Okay. Yep, that's the story. <laughs> uh, no, actually, uh, yeah. What what actually happened here? I think Shelby should t say what happened. Well, first, <laughs> why do we have to fight? <laughs> All of us. It's for the publicity. <laughs> we're not Drama. actually. We're not actually like. I don't think anyone's actually upset about it, but it is fun. Yeah. Because, yeah, we get the fans going with, you know, making them vote about what's better and um, some people <laughs> who don't have hair or you're not hair long enough to braid will get on Shelby's bandwagon and then everyone else is on my and bandwagon. Everyone. Uh, uh, anybody bread. with hair long enough to braid is right. on your, so, yeah, on your <laughs> side. pretty much sweep up the rest <laughs> yeah. of them. Okay. <laughs> you get the scraps. Well, yeah. <laughs> right. All the people with hair scraps. <laughs> Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, I just wanted to let you know that. Uh, oh no. My people. Oh no. My people have this thing, and. Uh, Your people. You don't have people. My people. We, <laughs> oh come on. My my the Jewish people. My people. <laughs> my people have this thing, and this argument has been going on a lot longer. Oh my than god. Just between the two of you. Oh my god. <laughs> but, have you ever heard of kala? <laughs> oh my god. The braided bread. <laughs> Let's settle this right here, right now. This is perfect. It's gonna be a truce. It's for all. Yes. Yeah. This is this is a biblical issue. Uh, people have been arguing about French braid, for French centuries. bread for centuries, and uh, they came up with this long ago. Oh God. So each, like, let's break How bread here. Not? And uh, do you want me to actually break it? Yeah. Take tear a piece off. <laughs> all right. Is that enough for you? Yeah. Well, you, yeah. You can grab Shelby's more if you okay. want. Yeah. Well, you love bread. <laughs> This is perfect because it's sweet bread and it's the off season. So yeah, there you go. All right. It kind of combines well, yeah. a lot of things. You know, well, now that we all have uh, food in our tummies. Uh, bon appetit. Yeah. Well, give your give your rendition on uh, on how this whole thing started. Oh yeah. What you guys want some? We'll get we'll get yeah. that later. All right. A few bread people. Yeah. Um. 
So it's simple, really. I did this silly thing on my Instagram like a year ago. I had this picture of myself in a braid because I like to run in braids sometimes. And I just was like doing, to, like trying to think of a funny caption of myself in a braid. And it was a Friday, so I said, is hashtag French braid Friday a thing? Because I was like wearing a French braid. Like, it's like, it should be a thing, like whatever. It was just silly. <laughs> um, and then other girls were starting to, people with hair, you know. Um, oh, I know who they are. My followers <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. were sending me photos of themselves in braids and they were like, um, yeah, like French braid Friday. But not only like was it just a picture, it would most, most of the time be like, um, and like here's a photo of me with braids and I did this really hard workout today and it went really well and you know, you inspired me because you're braid and I wore a braid and it was great. Are there different like so. styles of, well now, because you've changed it, it's I not have, French yes. Braid Friday, it's Fast Braid Friday. So now, now. It's, now it's Fast Braid Friday because you know, there's all these different braid styles going on, they weren't only French braids. Um, and so just to make it more uh, inclusive of all different types of braids, we kind of changed the name to make it more about what it's really about, which is about making you feel fast. So it's fast braid, not because you have to like braid your hair fast, but because like it makes it feel fast. And it like kind of gets misconstrued. Do people <laughs> get confused? Yeah. Do they time themselves? <laughs> like sometimes you get videos of people like braiding their friend's hair and they're like braiding like it's a race. And I'm like, no, no, the oh, race yeah. is the run part. <laughs> you take your time on the braids. <laughs> yeah, take your time there. <laughs> and then they get out there just like jogging. Yeah. <laughs> kind of the fast braids. Uh, you're, you, you you're not have, getting it. You have... Uh, Oh, oh yeah, gee, there she yeah. Is. Well, we were yeah, we were going to talk about how intimidating <laughs> yeah. you are, but uh, we can save that for another. <laughs> yeah, like another time. That's kind of scary. It is, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's oh, really two too, though. Uh, yeah, you've got these events oh, that you yeah. do. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I yeah. thought I was going to be in the back. Yeah, you're really pulling Shelby? that girl's hair right there. Shelby <laughs> <laughs> is in the back. I was the baguette. Oh, the baguette. Having a baguette fight with Courtney. Oh, really? Yes. I don't She's know where that's totally just. Um, oh, we'll get to that. My, probably. my inspiring event. Shelby's in the back with the baguette. Yeah. Yeah, but you yeah. do these events. Uh, mm -hmm. And we've uh, done a couple now. And you're going to um, do one tomorrow. Yeah, one is tomorrow. Right? Yes, you're very well informed. I, know, I, I keep tabs on all Does these things. Yeah. As unprepared as I look. <laughs> <laughs> I did my first one. Well, this is kind of the first one. This was a more like the super small that Nike's having an elite um, high school elite camp here in Portland on the Nike campus. So I came in and we just all braided hair and we talked about what the go their goals were for the cross country season. And um, yeah, that was like kind of it. It's pretty small. We braided each other's hair. And then in New York, um, two days before I ran Fifth Ave, uh, Fifth Ave was on a Sunday, so we had to do it on Friday, obviously. Two and they stay before. in that, like two days before? Oh no, so this was more just like, oh. I had my hair braided the morning of the race, but this was whoever was gonna go for a run. We did a run uh, after everyone's hair is braided, just like a fun run. Mm -hmm. um, but you can keep them in overnight. I, I don't think they would have lasted until Sunday. Yeah, because I've gotten seen... a little stale. Like, uh, like my sisters have hair like mine. Nothing? Okay. Or at least one of my sisters. <laughs> have. Sorry. Oh, stale braids. Boo. Stale oh braids. <laughs> I don't have the joke about my notes. Oh, bad jokes. That was just me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll get that. Yeah. We'll get, here, you can have a piece of paper if you want. Uh, okay. I yeah. thought it was good, though. When, uh, <laughs> I need to get new joke writers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was very good. Yeah, we'll hire you. But anyway, uh, so for, <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, we just, yeah, we, actually the one in New York, I got a bunch of uh, like professional stylists to come in and braid hair for, I think we had like 100 or 150 people come and get their hair braided. Wow. So that was much bigger That's and more, braids. like much more professional. We had, yeah, professional photographer and um, goodie bags and like all the, yeah, all the fun stuff. So it's definitely, it's getting more professional as we go. That's so cool too yeah, that uh, yeah these kids get to interact with yeah. one of their heroes like that yeah and get their hair yeah. braided by uh, there some moms uh, came like some mother daughter duos um, nice. some dads came which was kind of cool oh yeah yeah did the dads, Long -haired get, dads. get their hair braided yeah I didn't have any dads get their hair braided I did get like three dudes getting their hair braided um, I saw one guy getting his hair braided and I went over to him and I was like thanks for coming like that's right Friday it's not just for girls like anyone who likes to put braids in their hair and makes them feel fast like. And, and he's, he's like, like, huh? He was like, yeah. <laughs> he was like, I really wanted to come, but now I'm the only guy. I was like, no, you're not. There's another one over there. He's like, where? <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah, they were like three. friends. Yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna find him. <laughs> like, you're not alone. Um, there's a few guys there. So, yeah, it was fun. Nice. So what's your side of the story? Yeah, I was really this? hoping yeah. that Shelby would yeah, let's come get up. Into, get a into bread this. bar pop up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've thought about the bread bar, but well, first, like, what? What's your? I want to hear your side of the story yeah. when uh, when Colleen started doing this whole thing, and you're like, so, super motivational, inspirational. Yeah. No. What about you, Shelby? It should be about <laughs> that. <laughs> um, so, I thought it would just be funny. <laughs> if I did French Bread Friday, just as I, making fun of her a little bit. Yeah. A little um, bit? Just a little bit. Um, so I made one post, and people kind of started, like, <laughs> catching on with it, and it became a huge thing, and I was, so I just started posting about it every week, and then it became a, a feud. <laughs> so, yeah. so then I just, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have a, French bread bar for people, but well, maybe that's something to think about. I really think it could take off. You do the whole baking process. Yeah, it could be cool. But you have made uh, different posts, like about like you've kept it going. Mm. Yeah, this thing. I have a few more ideas. No, I once the season ended, I kind of took a little break from it. I was getting a little, a little. It felt more like a job. It's a lot of work to be on that social media all the time. It is. Yeah. 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 So. I was just proud because Shelby doesn't really like like posting on her Instagram that much. No. I'm always like trying to get her to do it. Like update your fans, like do your fans, like tell them what we're doing. Yes, like, I'm not you doing got anything. It. It's just like, <laughs> like I just like run every day and like eat food. Like I don't really like nothing to update. But, like she doesn't want to post. But then like this this few thing really got her to post. It was like, every Friday she was posting, and then on top of that she would realize that her feed was just like <laughs> it was just about bread. bread. <laughs> so then yeah. I had to like make more posts so it wouldn't all be about bread. So it made me post more. Well, there you go. Yeah. You yeah. Want to keep so I won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. But uh, back to uh, uh, the conversation around bread. Uh, you branched out into other other breads uh, like. Uh, oh, Colleen's no. branch out into other braids, right? Mm, no. Well, not I, really. I saw a post that you put up where your your family members were talking I, about their favorite bread. I right? did. I did that. Oh yes, we got, we uh, have actually. It. We got your. Is this your sister here? Yes. Yeah, and then you got your. That's my brother-in-law. Yeah, your brother-in-law. This guy's yeah, funny, by the that's, way. He's so beer funny. bread. Yeah. So bread. Uh, she she said rye bread here. Yes. Is your name Ryan? Yes. Is that Ryan, right? Yep. And then Andrew. Is that? Yep. Yeah. You got it. Uh huh. Brother-in-law. Yep. So his favorite is beer bread. Yeah. And he's got a beer bottle. <laughs> <Is that funny? laughs> funny guy. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. I actually was asking. I knew she was gonna do her. She was gonna change it to fast braid Friday. Yeah. And I had I had to kind of make fun of it. So <laughs> I had my family members send me their different types of bread. Uh-huh. Uh, I didn't actually end up changing it. I just wanted to go off of her post. Stick with what so, works. Yeah. yeah, it works. Oh, yeah, and we were working way. together, right? Like we were. Well, then you them. changed it. <laughs> no, no, I mean like every week we were oh, yeah. working together on our posts together. So we were like at altitude yeah. and so we were living we're together. We were collaborating. Oh, so it's all synchronized behind the scenes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Know. Well, yeah. Because we post at the same time. Huh? And yeah. Have the same caption. So. So like, I'd be like, "What are you gonna post about? Like, what's your post today?" And so then I would go do the same picture right. with bread. And oh. So I would like have a braid and I would sit by the pool because I was injured at one point. So I was like, "Mermaids, you know, like." like braids too of or course. whatever and then she would go by the pool with her baguette and be like mermaids like bread too <laughs> <laughs> oh the truth comes out yes it was it was oh, great because then i didn't have to come up with a caption which is the worst thing i hate coming up with captions mm. i just take her caption and i just put bread in it so, yeah, yeah, it yeah. the real MV- mvp behind the scenes <laughs> is mariel hall oh yeah. well, i can saw one of the videos too I she like she bought a bread. She does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know all about. <laughs> Is this creepy? <laughs> that was a little weird. <laughs> Do my homework. Yeah. <laughs> Not in college though. <laughs> Yeah, look at us. We're having such a great time up here. Yeah. We should do. We really should do this more often in the future. That's yeah. good bread. Actually, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Holla. Remember that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. All right. So, uh, no. uh, how do each of you want others to view you when you step on the track in a like in a serious way? Because this is something that I think 
uh, is good for uh, uh, differentiating people who are on the track because everybody has different personalities. It's something we like to point out here at Tracklandia <laughs> that uh, you two are very different. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, let's. Uh, whoever wants to go first, go ahead and jump in. <laughs> you want yeah. me to pick? <laughs> Um, how about I say what Shelby, what people think about Shelby when she stands up, stands on the track, and Shelby can say what people think of when they oh, say yeah, that's the track. way better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, good. Am I hired or what? Yeah, we don't pay much. But. Okay. <laughs> um, so can we go to the next picture to show what Shelby looks like when she's... Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a lot. That's the one I'm thinking of. This is the perfect backdrop for oh. my... Shelby on the track. Yeah. So I raced Shelby a bit in um, college before I knew her. I so I just knew her, you know, that Shelby girl went to Arizona State mm -hmm. um, who had fire in her eyes, basically. Like, she was scary. I never spoke to her. I never, like, <laughs> spoke any words. <laughs> she's not the kind where you're like, oh, do you want to warm up together? I'm like, no. <laughs> that chick does not want to warm up with you. <laughs> Don't talk to her. <laughs> She don't play. <laughs> she don't play. I want to say that this is not actually how I am. I know, I know. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get to that. So, yeah, I was always, like, terrified of her in um, college. And I, I never spoke to her ever. And even, like, we graduated, raced against each other a couple times. And um, when we graduated, I was talking to Jerry about joining the group. And I was like, Jerry, we need, if I'm going to join, like, we need more women. Because at that point, it was just Shalane and Emily. Like, we need more women. And... Um, so he's like, okay, yeah, like, I agree. Uh -huh. um, I'm like, so who, like, who, he's like, I got some people in mind. It's like, who? I'm like, this is great, who? And he's naming them, and I'm like, why don't you Shelby? And I was like, oh, have you talked to her? And he said, no, like, you know, waiting for her to see if she's interested to come talk to me. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. You know, like, playing a little, like, hard to get. That never worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so I was like, well, she, maybe she doesn't know, you know, like, this is the problem with just, yeah, relationships. Maybe she doesn't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I was like, can I talk to her for you? Like, now I really feel like the girlfriend is like, you know, someone's not the crush on you. Yeah, she sounds like a rom-com. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to message Shelby. I never talked to her before. I thought, still thought she was super scary, but I had to, like, I think I had a message on, like, Facebook or something. Yeah, you so did. It's not like I had, like, her number. So I think it's on her Facebook message being like, hey, like, you know, don't eat me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, right. Uh -huh. um, I just let her know, like, Jerry's interested in her and stuff. So that was, like, that my image of her was that she was just, like, super intense and, like, rah, like, I'm going to go cross this. I'm going to win. And if I don't, like, it would be hell to pay. Like, that's the kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. But then when you meet her, you're like, wait, what the? That was so fake. Like, you're so nice and, like, sweet. And, yeah, so it's, like, totally not real. But that is her like track persona. Um, is this? She's there's like this is like one of many. This pictures. is what I want you to think. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. Well, I just busted your. Yeah. Well, you're, 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 you're very convincing. Though. <laughs> yes. It, yeah. Everybody <laughs> believes that look. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody questions it. I mean, yeah. it's genuine. I'm in my I'm in my zone. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. I noticed the snitch earrings as well. Yeah. Harry Potter. Oh right. Yeah. You're big. The golden yeah. snitch. Yeah. Big Harry Potter fan. Those, yeah. <laughs> those have been my lucky earrings all season, so oh, <laughs> I wear them every race. You still have them, right? You didn't lose you them. You also wear braids every race, so I mean, mm, uh -huh. mm, I don't know. It's a toss up. It's a toss up. Yeah. I did have braids. Well, I guess I can't make that argument. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. But I also had my earrings in, so it doesn't matter. Right. So don't know. Going off of the game that Colleen made for us here, uh, <laughs> Shelby. This uh, is harder. You like, Colleen, I know, I am a lot harder. <laughs> You have a very strong on-track personality. My on-track personality is not very strong. I which feel is like why I did the game so that yeah. I put the hard part on you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like your on-track personality is the same as like your regular personality. I only have one personality. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> That's normal. Uh -huh. I have seven. <laughs> yeah, I have split personality. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I. <laughs> This is way harder for me. I smile on the start line. I yeah. Know. No, yeah, you just seem friendly yeah. and, like, very approachable, uh, very, like, composed and, like, 
you like know what you're doing kind of thing. <laughs> well, you don't want to call her approachable on the track, right? She's, she's trying to pull away from people, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was bad, too. <laughs> that wasn't a good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. I don't oh, yeah. know. I don't think I'm scary. I usually say, like, good luck to whoever's standing next to me on the start line. Yeah. Or if it's a teammate, we usually, like, do, like, a little, like, you got this. Yeah, well, that is very much like how you are off track, I would say, and yeah. uh, briefly person. knowing One you. Personality. Yeah. yeah, but, uh, but you're full finish. of surprises, too, by the way. I have seven. <laughs> Fine, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, we don't have time for all of that. <laughs> yeah. Before we finish, we would like to play a fun game with you guys. How I love well, games. How well do you guys think you know each other? Here we go. I think we know each other pretty well at this point. Yeah? I think so. Okay. A lot of those cool. altitude camps, you know? Because we have, we have a few questions. Oh, this is going to be fun. This Who is going to be, I don't like this. <laughs> don't worry, you're going to win in this game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Everyone, no. All right, let's do when, this. Where gets salt and straw? Woo! Okay. Yeah, okay. let's get down to business. Bring it. All right, you guys ready to play? Woo! All right. So. I'm going to ask one of you a question about the other. But I want both of you to answer. All right? This is kind of like your game. Okay. So, first question. Wait, you have to answer the question about ourselves? Too? Yes, because then yeah. we have to see if they match. So, let's we'll see if they match. Have you okay. never watched Ellen? I mean, I, I haven't seen this well, part. Well, duh. <laughs> Ellen. Have you ever watched Chuck Moon? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that I love. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, we'll move this along. <laughs> Which one do we I want? It's just terrifying. Yeah, it's like, I, feel, I feel scared. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go back to that? That's what I like that. Good. All right. First question is for Colleen. Okay. What's Shelby's favorite food? Oh. We're going to start this off kind of simple, casual. We'll see what's going Cover that up. Oh, quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you asked what her favorite food is. She knows that. Well, I know. I, was, I figured it was I wouldn't even write mine down that. I know I would. Right? Yeah. All right, Shelly, what is your favorite yeah, food? Damn it. Pizza. I want fish tacos. Fish oh, tacos. Ooh. It's always pizza. Oh, that's a point against. I almost did pizza, too. You want me to keep? Oh, how are you keeping score here? I don't know if I do this. Just wipe with my fingers. Oh, okay. that's a, oh, that's not a point for comp. Is that a point for anybody? For anybody? How does this game work? Well, you can, only, <laughs> you can only get points. Oh, OK. All right, Shelly, what is Colleen's favorite movie? Mm. That's easy. I can't. <laughs> I can't think of the title. Oh. You can describe it. Write the whole movie out. Yeah, just write the whole plot out. Wait, I. The big I mean, jewel sinks to the bottom of the ocean at the end of the movie. Oh, don't give it away. Oh, give it away. Okay. <laughs> All right. Colin, what's your favorite movie? What is it? Mean Girls. Oh, I love that movie. Oh. Show? <laughs> Sex in the City! Oh, oh, yeah. That's my favorite. No. You have that's my favorite pre when I like wanna just relax on race day and like mm -hmm. watch something silly. I always watch Sex in the City. Glass of red wine. Oh, that's that's a good off. guess. That's is this one is that yeah. where they go to Greece or something? They do. Oh, um, yeah. well, they go to Mexico. Oh, okay. That's not the same thing. I got a few questions for you now, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's on HBO sometimes. I think it's Mexico. Oh, okay. I think it's Mexico. Yeah. Alright, second question. Okay. Okay. We're not doing hot so far. It's all right. Yeah, they're not going to get any easier, but we're going to have fun with it. <laughs> All right, Colleen, this one is for you. What is Shelby's most commonly used catchphrase? Oh, I don't even know my commonly used catchphrase. <laughs> what does she say a lot? <laughs> this is Emily and Belle. <laughs> okay, what is her favorite color? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Got the whole rainbow to choose from. Yeah. Just throwing out there. Oh, jeez. Um. I don't know. I'm guessing. Hey, confidence, all right? Okay, we'll start, start with color. What do you think is her favorite color? Red. Red? Orange. Orange. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't think, think that was any, any, any. Was anybody's favorite color. <laughs> 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 I don't believe that. Half point? I heard half point from the Half point? Half no. point? Well, we'll give some points. That sounds good. Half point. <laughs> if it means that somebody, somebody has to There is, there is right. red and orange. Yeah. I'm in the lead. 
Okay. Right. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Shelby, what do you think Colleen is most afraid of? Oh. Like, like a biggest, biggest phobia. Like phobia, like don't know, give it away. Of animals, or of like phobia, of like life phobias. Ooh. Like, are we going deep, deep? Oh man. Yeah. Oh man. These are two different things. You know. Uh, okay, that's good. I like that. What animal are animal you most phobia. afraid of? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, right. <laughs> I got. I got two. Okay, hold. I have two. I also have two. So oh. it's gonna be. Want me to write one for you? Yeah. yeah. Wait. Yeah. Should you write down the two? Can I? Yeah. Can I write two? Oh yeah. Well, should I write two? You can yeah. write two. You yeah. Write two as well. You want to win. Personally, yeah. I've got I've got, I've got snakes. snakes. <laughs> and I've got spiders. <laughs> because, because snakes don't have left legs. <laughs> oh. oh wow! Yay! Yeah. Oh, wow! Yeah. Both snakes yeah. and spiders. I don't do that. Do it. You know why? It's because snakes don't have enough legs and spiders have too many. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have seen plenty of snakes running. Yeah. And I have seen the way she spiders. <laughs> yeah. Spiders in that altitude house and then snakes on the runs. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and, mice. and mice. And mice. We, we, we got, got more, more, right? Yeah, that was, uh, that was for, for Shelby, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Now I got to get all. in the lead now. We're trying, trying to keep score. Keep yeah, this score. one should be that Shelby's, Shelby's, that I'm trying to So we're now at half point to one. Oh, half, half, half to one. one. All, all right. right. Shelby, who would play Colleen in a movie? There you go. Oh, okay. That yeah. is good. I don't know how to spell it. That's okay. It's probably not right. Well, if it's not Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I think, by the way. That's just something that I can't spell, so. <laughs> it's actually Shelby. Zach Galifianakis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, Shelby, who do you I, think? I don't think right? I spelled that right. Margot wow. Lally? Oh. You're so sweet. I put Blake Lively. Blake Lively? Oh, oh my goodness. Both beautiful well, women. Yeah. That's fair. That's a nice couple. Oh, I think I did her point. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a trying to give us a point. Mm -hmm. no, okay. okay. Alright. This one gets interesting. Okay. Colleen. What Hogwarts house would Shelby be sorted into? Oh. Oh yeah. I forgot about this one. I'm pretty sure this is easy. It's easy, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Nice job. <laughs> like, right, right. <laughs> Give me a wink if it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sticking to the Harry Potter theme. Shelby, which Harry Potter character is Colleen most likely to grab coffee with? <laughs> Colleen, name a Harry Potter character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about this one. Oh my god. Uh, I'll give it a one in three chance. Uh, it's Hermione, Ron, and Harry, yeah. right? All right. I Which one of the three are you likely to get, get coffee with? I must, must have been, been in the bathroom, bathroom for this one. one. You, you guys in the writing room. <laughs> Hermione! Oh, oh, I, I -O -O -I. oh, good. Starts with an Now I'm questioning if I spell it right. Is it two and a half to one? Two and a half to one. I have a pretty good spelling. Wait, what's the setup here? Like, how many? Do we have two? We got two questions. Two questions. One for each. For each. Oh, and it's one and a half to two. Right I don't want this to end. This is fun. I'm going to stay here all night. I've got a bed in the back. Just keep throwing questions out. You have a cooler of beer over there. We don't need to go anywhere. Okay. If Colleen could go back in time and hang out in any decade, which decade would she bounce around in? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> I like the town and how you phrase that. <laughs> which decade would she, would she bounce, bounce around, around in? in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to say who in the past. This is January. my favorite decade, but. You got the DeLorean. <laughs> You're going back. <laughs> time turner. I like don't want to hear <laughs> holding yours right in front of my face. Uh, me? Oh, sorry. Okay. You look at you. You're so honest. Uh, you don't even look. Well, Shelly, what's that game? 80s, 60s. Oh, interesting. The synthy vibes. I thought it was like yeah. too okay. like druggy for the, you. The <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, thought I'd just try it. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, are we talking like 1980s here? <laughs> the 1980s? Uh, the 1980s, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know my history well enough to know if I would be able to survive in the 1880s. Yeah. Mm. 
I don't know about, about dentistry back then. Back then. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't have great nuts, so that's no, yeah, well, they're, they're good. good. <laughs> they're plugged you know, for great nuts. You don't need a dentist if you don't have great nuts. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Colleen. Which superhero would Shelby most likely TP Jerry's house with? Uh, superhero? Wait, what? Yeah. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me rephrase. <laughs> <laughs> it made sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If, if Shelby had to TP Jerry's house yes. with a superhero, when we TP who, who, oh. who would it be with? With a superhero. Like yeah. joining with joining a superhero. Joining as your son. Like okay. Yeah. Oh. Like you and this superhero are throwing toilet paper yeah. over your coach's <laughs> house. Throwing superheroes. Like you're Batman. Yeah. 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 I was like, wait, yeah. we're TPing with superheroes? Me. Cut the tension. <laughs> <laughs> I'm between two. Is that Colin? I'm between two as well. Are you? Did you write one? Yeah. Okay. My favorite one. Who are you TPing uh, the house with? Who's it going to be? Wait. Oh no, you're gonna. Nope. Go, you're oh, you're going back? Oh, come on. She Jeez. has pajamas from the superhero. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Oh. Don't say that. Well, that's cool anyway. <laughs> Is that correct? Is that, yeah. is that the superhero? I can like see her in her pajamas, and I can't remember if they're Superman or Batman or going Batman. She's going Batman. Oh. Spider-Man. Oh. Spider-Man. Oh. Oh. Spider-Man. Oh. Spider-Man. Oh. Spider-Man PJs. Wait, so who won this thing? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Call, call me by half point. All right. That's the perfect TV part. It is. Yeah. Call I me. was thinking Batman. I wasn't even think of thinking I was between thing. Spider-Man and Batman. To be fair, these are some pretty difficult questions. I, it looks like, like you still won that by half a point, point, though. So, so Colleen's the I leader. Won? Is that right? That's what you said. I don't know how you're keeping score here. I don't know Let's call it a tie. Yeah. All right. Everybody <laughs> wins. Oh, my God. They all get phones. All right. Colleen yeah, and Shelby, thanks for coming out. Thank, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you very much. That's our show. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you to Downstream. Thank you to Portland Track. Thank you to the city of Portland. And just remember that Andy's phone number is 50. All right, that's it. Take care, guys. Appreciate it. All right. Bye next time.